Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome back to the channel. So our videos have gotten kind of messed up. We started working on one for the uh, shiplap and the window frames and we got most of the way through, but then we painted the window frames and we can't get them to dry because it's so been so humid here uh, the last few days. So they're actually in the house drying now. My guess is they won't be done for the rest of the week. So we're going to hold off on that one and today we're going to start working on the ceiling. So as you see the ceiling is pretty much done. It's screwed in. We've got three things left to do. So we've got to build a trim ring for the AC unit because the black plastic trim ring doesn't really fit when the AC unit is recessed in a ceiling. So we can't use that thing. Um, there is a trim ring that came with the Max Air Fan. We went and spray painted it black because we thought it would match with the lights a little better. So we're going to see how that looks. If it doesn't look good, we're going to go ahead and build a, a, frame, a frame out of uh, cedar for that as well. So it will match uh, both the uh, AC unit and the fan will match. And then Tanya is going to be back later to show you a neat way that we found to wire up these puck lights. It's super easy. Um, and it is really effective and really quick to do. So stick around and we're gonna get to it. So we're gonna start out by building the trim piece for this. So there's a couple things we wanna cover. First of all, we wanna cover this set of screws here on the edge. We also want to cover these four holes. So keep something in mind. Again, I keep stressing this. When you build something, make sure that you can access it later so you're not tearing things apart. This whole AC unit is really held in by four bolts. So at first we uh, ran these pieces of ceiling, covered up the bolts completely, and later we're like, how the heck are we going to get this thing out? We're going to have to tear, off, tear out the ceiling if we ever have to remove this to work on it or something like that. So we went ahead and drilled four holes. That, and really all we have to do now is take a socket wrench in here and we can pull this thing right out. So, so anyway, we want the trim ring to cover those. So we figured out that one by three lumber will cover this. I found some one by three cedar at uh, the local uh, lumber store. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that. The thing I wanna do different about this than the window uh, frames is I don't wanna do butt joints. I actually wanna do mitered corners. So basically the 45 degree corner in each of these because I think that'll look better because this is not gonna be painted. So you're gonna see it and I think that will look much better. So we're gonna try that and um, we're gonna see how it comes out. And if it doesn't come out good, we'll go back to the mitered, I mean the uh, butt edges and we'll be good anyway. So let's go. So for the AC unit, this is what we're looking to build. We're gonna basically build a cedar frame that has internal dimensions of 12 inches by 14 and a half inches. So we need four pieces of wood and the question is how long do these pieces of wood need to be? So because we're basically cutting the edges at 45 degrees, that little uh, extension at the long end is equal to the thickness of the wood. So basically I take 14 and a half here I add the thickness of the wood, which is two and a half inches. Here I add the thickness of the wood, which is also two and a half inches. And I got 14 and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half gives me 19 and a half inches. So I'll cut these at 20 inches just to start. And these I'll use that same tech, that same methodology and I'll start these at, I'll start them at roughly 18 inches um, so that I have something a little easier to work with and we'll go from there. So we've broken down these into more manageable pieces, and now we're gonna cut the miters. Unplug the saw before you do anything like this, of course. So those four are cut exact. Now we split them up into two and the goal is to make opposite ends exact. So 
So I've got my four pieces cut. Now it's not completely imperative that these are exactly 12 inches or these are exactly 14 and a half. What matters is that these two are the exact same length and these two are the exact same length so that they fit together nice when you try to put them, when you try to glue them up. So I'm gonna clear some space here. And if I did this right, these should fit together perfectly. And it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's about as good as you're gonna get it. So that would make a nice trim ring for the, um, for the AC unit. So now we've just gotta glue it up and we'll be done. So the frame is done. I've got it in this uh, strap clamp so it holds all four edges together nice and tight. I've got to sand these down once it comes out of here. And I'm probably gonna build some kind of edges on here because you can see between, when you put this up against the AC unit, you can see behind it and you can see some of the white metal of the van. So I'm probably gonna put a sort of a box around this thing. So probably gonna use that, I think. I gotta think about that one, but that's it so far. So right now it's about three hours later and I wanted to show you the problem we had to fix. So you can see up here, I've got some white trim. You could even see the metal of the van here. So when I put that trim ring around here, you could still see all that stuff. So I didn't quite like the way that looked. So I went ahead and built this box to go around the fan and I notched it out for the hoses and the wires and on the back there's this kind of little plastic tab on the AC unit so that's notched out as well and the, the spacing of the screws in the AC unit is not consistent it's not even on both sides so I had to make this piece a bit thinner than the others but this is all held together by pocket screws and brad nails and glue and we're going to look at how it fits. Um. All right, so just so you see how it fits, it's cut out for the wires and the hoses. It's cut out for the little plastic tab. And check this out. Man, man, man. Can we take a minute and just admire that? Now we're gonna stain it the same color as the res regular cedar planks and it will fit in super nice. So at this point, I think I'm done. And then Tanya gets home. Oh, that looks really good. I can't wait to see the other one. Yep, Max Air fan. Let's go. So for the Max Air fan, we had to do things a little bit different. So this actually comes with a trim ring um, when you buy it and this thing was white, but I spray painted it black because we thought it would go with the lights and everything But we like the way the cedar one looks so much better that Tanya asked me to build a frame around this thing now Obviously if you just put a piece of wood on top of this It's not going to touch the ceiling, right? There's going to be a space between the wood and the ceiling and we didn't want that so what I did was I built a frame just like for the uh, AC unit again out of spare cedar wood that I had with mitered corners and then I used a router to route out this uh, eighth of an inch sort of channel here and this can basically fit in here so now when we put this up and a router makes a heck of a mess but it does a pretty effective job so now put this up there and screw it in place and it looks super nice so it looks cool with the white and then the black and then the cedar 
that matches the ceiling. So super cool. So that's both of them done. And now we just got to get them attached. So our last thing we've got to do is to install the remaining two puck lights. We have found this super cool method to do this. These things are called lever nuts. You can get them at most of the big box stores. Basically, it's got three holes. You can get the two hole version as well. You insert the wire, you push down these levers, and it locks them in place. So it is super easy. So we have literally run a single wire from where our DC power box is going to go all through the van. To catch all these lights we've also got two switches attached to here which are in the circuit but for now what we're going to do is we've just saved these last two lights to show you how easy these things are so the first thing you've got to do is strip these wires these are 14 gauge wires these things have to be stripped about the last half of an inch you want to do it or you want me to do it you do it all right i'm gonna be twisting Okay, so everything is stripped. The next thing we're going to do is twist all these bundles. These are all stranded wires as we've been using. So we're basically going to twist these all together. And again, we're, we're putting everything in series or parallel? Um, parallel. Right, parallel. That means all the black, all the negatives are together and all the positives are together. And that way if one burns out. If one burns out, the rest will keep working. That's right. Yeah. And they all get exactly the same amount of electricity because if we were to light these in a series configuration basically one to the other and if one dies they all die and the first one would probably be the brightest right so okay you're gonna grab one of those lights oh the lights not actually you can things? do you can do these first okay so with these they're not love nuts lever nuts lever nuts love nuts <laughs> so, so you're we're gonna, gonna take yeah you're gonna these are, the two Either one. These are the positive. It. Those are the positive. And yep. so feed it in here. Yep. And then push it all the way in and then close the lever. Push it all the, the way lever. in and close the lever. And you should feel it locked in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really simple. Push, close, and pull, tug. Yep. Good. And then another one. Mm -hmm. So now Ooh. you're going to do the negative side. Red is positive in our van and black is negative. negative. Doesn't have to be that way, but it is for us. Close. And the lights, the puck lights may not follow that, right? The, the, our puck lights don't even have a red wire. They have a white and a red, a white and a black. Okay, tug, we're all good. Good. Okay, right. so you've got to. So the positive on our puck light is actually, it's labeled positive and is actually black. Right. So the negative is the white wire so positive goes with the red right so i open that one stick it in all the way close give it a good tug good and then this one open in close tug we're good and that's it now okay you can, now you can start doing the other so you can feed this all this stuff all up in there if you want oh i didn't get any um have a wool oh you need some insulation insulation <laughs> thank you ask and shall receive so this is another thing before we stick the light the these um lever nuts in there we wrap them in insulation that way there's nothing to bang around while we're driving and then the clips you kind of just go reverse shove everything in there and then ta -da! oh here push push in how about that that's it pretty easy though right okay I, I like these a lot better than the other yeah, ones yeah we tried another version of these the lever nuts are way better so much easier especially for you ladies have fingernails 
which I know you guys out there. Okay, again, on ours, the um, there's a label, black, positive. So it goes with the red. Tug, it's in there good. And then the negative is the white wire. Snap, good. Mm -hmm. And then push up in there. Okay. And then again, it has like clips, so they go reverse. Just shove it in there. And then, voila! Now we have lights. And the test. And the test. Let's see. Okay. I think these are the. So I want you guys to see what we did. So I'm going to take the camera and let you see. I've stripped off the last, the other end of the circuit, and I basically stick it on this battery. And the so lights come on. Hold it. Oh. Ta da! And that's it. Job well done. Yes. Yay! So we set out to do three things. There is the frame for the uh, AC unit. The lights are all in place. And here is the frame for the max air fan we think they look really nice gives the ceiling a nice finished look hey guys so we got a shop to clean up and then we're going to get ready for dinner but thanks so much for joining us if you like the video click that like button and pound on that subscribe button if you haven't already done so we'll be back next week to finish the shiplap shiplap and the ship lap? yeah we got to finish the there's all those frames drying in there what do you think okay yeah shiplap cabinets I, I was know. thinking cabinets. Maybe cabinets. It's going to depend on how miserably hot it is this week. <laughs> so either way, we hope we'll see you. See you next time.